Hi, Tracy here with the Idea Closet, and today I'm doing a um, project for Heartfelt. I'm going to do these two little boxes with a um, envelope punch instead of my digital cutter, which I usually use. If you watch any of my videos, that's usually what I, I like to use. Um, this is for a project for Photo Play Papers, their new Halloween line. And today I'm going to show you how to make this bag in a box and then the fold over box using the punch board. This is not my design. Um, I have to be honest, I've seen a whole bunch of these on Pinterest and Google and really liked them. And so I thought I would go ahead and show you how to do it. So you'll first start with a six by six piece of paper. You can either use the paper pad or cut your 12 by 12 down, which is what I did. And we're gonna use our punch board. Let me get my scoring tool out. And the first thing you'll do is you're gonna take the edge of your paper and make sure that it's lined up on the two inch mark. We're gonna punch and then score. Okay, then take it over to four and a half, take the edge over to four and a half, punch, and score again. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to line up that score line with your score guide. Punch, score, slide down to the next score line, line it up, punch, and score. And we're going to do that all the way around the of paper. We want to make sure that we line it up, punch, and score. And the last one, line it up, punch, score, and one more. There's a glare on here. It's hard to see what I'm doing. All right, now we're done with our, oh, we need to take our corners and we're going to round those. So I'm going to put them right in there and pinch and get all four of our little corners rounded at the bit. Okay. I'm going to put this board away because we're done with it for a minute. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to fold all of our score lines. It's a little bit easier to flip it over and go that direction. Flip it over. Perfect. And flip it over. And score. All right, now if you look at this, you have two triangle edges, and one is wider than the other. Um, this is the wider one. This is a little bit skinnier. So we're going to take and cut on the wide edge and it's kind of easier to see your score marks on the darker side. But we're going to cut from the edge to the next score line on both sides of those wider edges. Let's cut right there. I'm not a very good left handed cutter. The next thing that we want to do, we're going to decide which side of the paper you want to show, is we're going to take these two skinnier um, tabs, and you can either fold them inside your box so that they can't be seen, or fold them out. I folded mine out because I kind of liked the contrast. So I'm just going to take my tape runner, put a little bit of glue on them, and fold them over. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take this edge right here and I'm gonna put some tape right along there. And then I'm gonna fold it over and do the same thing on this edge. <clears throat> okay, now what we're gonna do is gonna fold this up. This is gonna be your bag, this right here. I'm going to take these sides, fold that one over, 
and then pull this one over. This is the one that has the tape and just kind of line it up. And the reason I didn't tape both sides is I want this middle box to be, this middle piece to not be attached. So now we're going to fold this one over and then the side with the tape, fold it over as well. And there is your bag in the box. To decorate it, all you're going to do is you can either hold that with a clip if you would like or you can punch a hole like I did, tie it closed with your um, with some twine or whatever you want to do and it looks like you have a little bag inside of a box and you can fill that area with a treat or a candy bar or whatever you want and give it away it makes a perfect little Halloween treat box okay for this box this is the fold over box and it is the same thing so I already have my paper here um, it's we scored and cut it just the same as we did with the other one we're also going to cut on the wide side so I don't know if you can see that make sure I'm in the camera view and I'm gonna cut those and then we're going to um, fold these as well now on this I want the cats this is the outside of my box and I want the stripes to be my contrasting piece so I'm going to fold up on the, whoops, did that backwards. I'm going to fold up so that the cats show. And then fold down so that the contrasting piece shows. I'm going to do that on all four sides. Up so the cat shows, down so the stripe show the contrasting. I hope this makes sense to you. Fold up and then down. Now we're going to flip it over and all of these little triangle pieces, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on them and fold them over. Okay. Then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to take these edges that are cut apart, these are your tabs, and I'm going to run tape diagonally across that edge right there. And do it again on this one, do it again on this one, and on this side. And then when you um, fold it, this is where your sticky is, you can just fold it and tape, fold it tape. Sorry, I was out of the camera for a minute. Fold it, tape, fold it, and tape. And now you have a little fold over box. This one is a little bit bigger because I cut this instead of cutting the edges at four and a half, I cut it at two. Um, I hope that didn't go down anywhere. But that is your little fold over box. And then all you're going to do is take some candy, put it in a little bag, stick it in there um, and you have another perfect little bag. I also have some other things that I've done not using my digital cutter with this project with this group of paper. I hope you'll watch on the blog either at Heartfelt's blog or on the ideaclosetblogspotcom and give one of these techniques a try. Happy Halloween!